The next category under setup is total and history. When you click enter, the first option you will see is total method. Here you can click enter again and you will see three options, negative flow, positive flow, and net volume flow. You can simply just put set and save. Voila, back to the screen. C02 is your clean total. Here you can click enter and you have the simple options of either saying no or yes. Now the clean total is to set your cumulative flow volume to zero. You can simply just put set and save. Voila. Next option is Z03. So this is the history function. So actually this is a very interesting feature of the paddle wheel flow meter. Able to keep track up to 14 days of flow rate information. In other words, it works as a data logger. Now before turning on this function, there are two things you need to know. First, you would have to uh, insert a CR2032 battery inside of the paddle. Now we will create another video that shows you how to actually remove and install this battery. It's very simple, very easy to do. So don't worry about that. Okay. After you do that, you will simply go to where it says alarm and info and D click enter, go to D D zero three. So this is the battery alarm click enter. So assuming you have installed the, the battery, you will just, there's an on and off option. You put on set save and voila, the battery function is now working. Now, if you actually did have the battery in there on the screen, it will show calendar function. So in this calendar, you will put in today's date or any day that you want to begin uh, recording the flow rate data. And from that moment until 14 days later, it will record all the information for you. So you simply just click escape and go back to C. Here's the total history and function. Click enter, go back to Z03. Now this is the history function. You simply click enter here and obviously it's already on. You can choose off or on just simply set save or not. Great. Then you move on to the last option under this category, which is Z04, which simply is to clean history. So you simply click enter here. You can put no or yes. If you click yes, then this will set the historical flow volume back to zero. Click set and save. Voila. And that's it for C, total and history.